What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I want to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-30746-0. So this has occurred with the latest PlayStation 4 update, the 9.6 update that's occurred. So I want to essentially show you how to fix this, and first I'm going to kind of go into the PlayStation Self console and show you like I have the update and what you can do to essentially, kind of if you haven't even started the update process, what to do to like prevent this even happening. So first of all, as you can see, I clearly have the update somewhere here, or oh, it's gone I guess. <laughs> I have it installed right there. I have it installed. If you're still currently like installing like this, you want to pause it and delete the update, right? You want to go down a different route on how you want to fix this. So what you want to do is once you do that, you want to kind of turn off your console completely and you want it to completely turn off, not rest mode, not anything else. You want it completely turned off from the screen if you possibly can. And you want to wait for the white light that's flashing on the side to completely uh, kind of stop. So you can go into the next phase, which is what we're going to do is going into safe mode in your PlayStation 4. So just as soon as it stops, I'm going to get into safe mode. It's still flashing on the side. Any minute now. All right, so what you want to do is you want to hold on to the power button for about five to eight seconds until you hear two beeps. So you hear one beep when you press it, mine doesn't because mine's a it's literally dying and the second one like like i said in like five to eight seconds you'll hear two beeps i instinctively kind of like let go when i think that time passes and hopefully oh perfect i am now in safe mode so you can see on top it says safe mode it says connect the dual shock 4 using a usb cable so you want to have a usb cable like this connected directly to your console for you to be able to do it so analog six doesn't work and you're gonna do uh, essentially the D-pad. So I'm gonna move away so it doesn't blur anymore. So the first thing you wanna do is the rebuild your database. You always wanna kind of do that and go from there. The second thing, once you're done with that, depending on how long it takes, it could take a while, it could take pretty quick. Uh, you wanna click into number three and you wanna click number three again. Uh, in the other video, I had like another video, <laughs> it wasn't working, but as you can see, you can easily just kind of go into it. And you saw, I already have 9.6. I can do 9.6 again. So there's always just like a free, like a clean, fresh install again, if need be, right? So you can clearly see that happening over here. So I could, you, if you want, this is where you need to be doing the updates. Always do it from here, not from the console itself, because this is going to be the cleanest place to do the update for you to not have an issue occur, right? So once you do that, let's say it doesn't work, you want to try using it from a USB device instead because it could be that your network or internet is the problem and not the update or the console. So I have a video on how to do this. Essentially, you directly download the update from Sony's website. You put it in a USB and you put it in your console and you go from there. It's very simple and easy to do. That's It, it shouldn't take long. Even if your internet's bad, it should take an hour max to download it and then be able to do it. Um, if for whatever reason that doesn't work, your final option is option number six or seven. I highly do not recommend these options because it deletes everything from your console. So option six is going to just reinstall your system software from scratch without needing anything. And option seven, which is, I would prefer this over six, not that it does anything different, from a deletion perspective, it's just it's going to download from a USB. So the reinstall is going to be the file is going to be directly from Sony itself because it can says you get it from PlayStation.com. So you get it directly from Sony. So I have a video on this as well, so I can link that in the description below for you guys to check out. So you're gonna have to kind of go down these one of these routes to kind of go from here if option number three fails. And I really hope that one ends up working for you. And most I feel like most folks it will work. This is like your final option. This is gonna delete your games, your username, your data. It sucks. Because if you don't have it backed up on the cloud, it's just going to delete that. If you remember your username, you're gone. <laughs> it's like a lot of those craps is going to suck, man. Uh, so hopefully you don't have to kind of go down this route and you guys are good to go. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. If you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy you guys out. If you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. On that, we're coming out. Peace.